Hey fiber friends, Caitlin from Dunspun. You guys have been asking for it, so here is my beginner tutorial into needle felting. Once you have the basics down, you can make pretty much anything your imagination can come up with, three-dimensional sculptures, or even landscapes that are felted, wet felted, needle felted together. So let's go ahead and get started. Look at my cute little gnome and mushroom. The basics behind needle felting is using a barbed felting needle like this. The barbs go in and out of the wool and as they do, they tangle the fibers together until they create a solid piece. So that's what we're doing. We use a foam as a work surface to keep our needles and ourselves safe. We wanna make sure our needles are always going straight up and down. If we start to twist them and manipulate them in different ways, then we can actually bend or break our needles, which we definitely don't wanna do. So I'm going to start with just a very basic thing. Um, so we're just gonna grab some felt that I got at a craft store and always be aware of where you place your needle. <laughs> then I'm going to take my cookie cutter and use it as a stencil. So I'll place the stencil or cookie cutter on my felt, and then I'm going to take my wool in just little tufts, and then my felting needle here, and we're just going to poke up and down. Everywhere that the needle goes into the fiber, the fiber begins to felt. You wanna keep your fingers as far away from the barbed points as possible. So when you're learning to needle felt, cookie cutter is a really great way to keep your fingers safe. So after you've got your fiber felted to your surface, you can remove your stencil and peel your fiber off of the mat. And ta-da, you've got your little design. You can continue now to um, felt your heart or whatever else you're making um, until it is exactly the way you want it. Creating three-dimensional objects is just as easy. So I'm just going to take this fiber and start to roll it into a ball. The tighter my ball is to begin with, the easier it will be to needle felt in the future. So I'm just rolling it up until I have this. Then once again, I'm going to take my felting needle and begin to go up and down motions into the wool until the fiber starts to hold itself together. Again, you wanna be very careful with your needles. If you're afraid you might accidentally catch your finger, you can grab a toothpick or a pencil and use it to protect yourself. In order to keep our round ball shape, instead of having my needle go in at different directions, which can actually bend or break your needle, every few times that I felt into the wool, I'm going to stop and rotate the fiber. This keeps me from accidentally hurting my needle or myself. With this ball shape, you can continue to felt it until it's very firm, or if you leave it a little bit squishy, then you can continue to add to it. So if I wanted the ball to be a little bit bigger, I could just wrap some more wool around it and start to needle felt again. Or if I wanted to add, say, ears and a nose to it, I could end up with an elephant. Um, so there's lots of different ways to do this, but as long as you keep your wool just a little bit fluffy at the beginning, then you're able to continue to add on to create any creature that you desire. So those are just some basics to get you started on your needle felting journey. I hope it was helpful. Again, there are always so many different ways to enjoy fiber art, so be sure to find what works best for you. And happy needle felting, everyone.